Well, COVID-19 isn't stopping the Sioux Empire Livestock Show this year. The week-long event was expanded this year and is now in its third day. And as you're about to see, a lot of those in attendance are the next generation of farmers. 10-year-old Lila Booth of Aurora, South Dakota, maybe small in size, but she makes up for it with her confidence. She had her mindset, that was one she was going to bid on. Placing her bid, though, takes teamwork. He would tell me yes or no, and I would raise my hand if he said yes and no. I would shake my head no. I like the heifer, and for me, it's all about um, deepness into them. Deepness? I had to ask what that meant. She says it's about their size. Lila isn't the only kid here today. From the auction chain to the bid catcher, the livestock show is a family thing. I'm a fourth generation farmer. My daughter's going to be fifth generation. I've been coming since I was a kid with my dad. So it's just, we just constantly come back every year. This is one of the largest livestock shows in the country this year because of the pandemic. A couple of years ago, they had 22 states represented. This year, they believe they're well over that. For a minute, it didn't even feel like we were in the middle of a pandemic because just, wow, the enthusiasm. Those in attendance are encouraged to wear masks and there are hand sanitizing stations placed throughout the expo building. Organizers have also been taking bids online and that's why they're a bit surprised by the huge turnout. I hope that all the businesses are feeling the economic impact because in a normal year, we have about a $3 million economic impact with our traditional five-day show. And this year we have triple the numbers. And that's why we've expanded our dates to be able to accommodate those numbers. Numbers that reflect the next generation of farmers. And the Sioux Empire Livestock Show is in its 68th year. It runs through Sunday.